Cool. Let's get this going. Um, I, I guess the polite question with with the thigh injury and uh, Sean telling us that you, you might be sort of struggling for the start of the season is, is to ask you how you are. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, I'm out on the grass doing a bit of running. Um, just sort of hoping it settles down, um, you know, sooner rather than later, and and going off how how I'm feeling really, and and uh, just trying to trying to get back into training as soon as possible. It touch and go for the Premier League start, or yeah, you know, it's, it's coming around fast. I mean, next week, uh, obviously, the week um, you know postponement has, has helped us. Uh, sorry, it's helped me personally, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm uh, you know I'm. Doing my best. I'm trying to work hard to, to get back involved and, and first and foremost to get back into training. And in terms of, of this pre-season, I mean, it's pretty compressed, but you guys have already shown, not just Burnley, but the other clubs in the Premier League, resilience is going to be the story of 2020, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. And, and um, we have that in, in abundance at, at our club. For, you know, um, That was shown um, after the lockdown period in the, in the games um, after that. And... I think yeah, we we need to carry that on and carry that form on and and, and show what what we're about again. One of the things you have done in pre-season is extended your contract. I mean, how, how excited are you at the kind of trajectory the club's going on? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, you know, we've, we've had a great uh, a great run um, the last couple of years. You know, uh, two top ten finishes in, in the past three years. Uh, it's fantastic, and you know. We, we're uh, we're moving forward as a club, and I'm excited because you know to see where the club's come from, to see where it can go, and it can improve even more, and we can we can sort of get better uh, as a club. Um, you know, position-wise, um, you know we'll do well to, to break into um, any any further, but you know it's a challenge, and and uh, but the club is progressing, and and uh, the group of players we've got, you know, great bunch of lads, and um, you know it's enjoyable, and I'm I'm really pleased that. I, I've got another year after this one, and and uh, yeah, it keeps that keeps it going. I, I guess that there is a lesson to be learned, perhaps from last season. It's not leaving everything to be done to the end of the season. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I, I guess that there's a lesson from last season. It was I think three wins from the first three months. It left you with a lot of catching yeah, up to do, which you yeah. did well. But but starting better would be an advantage. <clears> oh yeah, for sure. You know, you don't want to sort of leave leave yourself with too much to do. Um, definitely. Um, but we have this habit of of going on runs and you know when we're good we're very good and and having that momentum and um, we seem to to roll into games you know when we're confident and, and playing well and working hard for each other and um, we seem to go on these runs that that um you know prove well for us and and yeah it'd be nice to to start off with a, a good few wins good few results and, and move on from there and, and see where we can go rather than have to like you say play catch up uh, the manager this morning talked about wanting to get some new faces in. I think he, he obviously talked about getting quality in, but I think you also need some bodies in simply yeah. because the players that have left and you didn't have the biggest squad anyway. Yeah, it's, I don't think there's any surprise. You know, we need, we need some bodies in. We're, we're a small squad. We were depleted at the the end of the season um, last year, and you know the, the young boys have, have done well, come in and, and you know train with us a lot, and, and you know helps them out, progresses them, gives them a real good chance to, to show what they can do. Um, but yeah, I think we need some. You know, it's no surprise, you know, no secret that we need some bodies in, and, and uh, the Premier League's a, a tough season, a long season, and um, yeah, you, you need some bodies. We're a small squad, but um, yeah, a few additions. I think you know the club will be looking at that for sure. He also talked about the mental game of the of the players having improved, kind of borne out by the stats that the home record and the away record were pretty identical last season, whereas kind of traditionally you, you rely on your form at turf more, but you seem mm -hmm. to have got round visiting some of these bigger clubs and getting results there. Yeah, yeah, experience as well. I think is a big key. Uh, the mentality, knowing that you can go up to places and and beat teams and, and get results, and I think that that's been an improvement on, year on year. And and uh, you know, like you say, go to show that you know we can play away from home as well as we can at home. One of the things you've got used to in your time at Burnley is the guy next to you is attracting transfer attention. It's happened before. It's happening again with Mr. Tarkovsky. And I mean, the, the fact is, his, his performances have probably warranted some attention, haven't they? Yeah, for sure. He's he's been fantastic. He was. Probably the top performing English centre half last year, uh, playing every game, every minute. Um, I know he's disappointed not to be in the English squad. You know, I was disappointed for him, and you know I think he, he should be in there for sure. Um, you know, going off form and ability, he's he's right up there. So yeah, you know we want to keep him around. He's a top class player. You know, top quality. Enjoy playing with him, and um, yeah, we want to keep him around for sure. I think experience shows that it, you know people's heads don't get turned at Burnley. I think you probably police it quite nicely and keep everyone concentrating on the straight and narrow, don't you? I think so. You know, we've got a good group of lads that are down to earth and and uh, don't get too carried away with themselves. Um, you know, sometimes a 
a player moves on and, and you know you, you can accept that um, but like I say we want to keep our best players and we want to keep him round and um, you know as with, as with other players that we've got as well. I think during lockdown people were impressed with you as, as a captain and what you had to say about Black Lives Matter and the various incidents including the plane and things and we know the captains are meeting tomorrow um, obviously the kind of continued support for, for BLM is, is, is on the agenda what, what do you think what do your instincts tell you firstly about what might happen are, are people going to still take the knee uh, are you going to have it on the sleeves of your shirts I think that's a conversation we're going to have um, you know I, I know there's, there's various um, possibilities what we what we can do and, and it'll be discussed I think in the meeting tomorrow um, but yeah I think the campaign was was fantastic uh, last season I think it really um, sent out a message and I think a lot of people sort of followed on from that in the, in the world of sport and you know it was really really good to see that, that football took a, a leading role in it and and uh, you know it proved the powerful sort of message I think throughout the, the world of sport yeah and one strand of thought is just that things continue as they are just while there are no fans it's a powerful message clearly well while, while everyone's watching so much football on television yeah football's on, on TV a lot you know every day there's a game uh, or there was a game um, uh, but yeah, I think uh, the powerful message that, that gets across throughout, you know, it's, it goes across the world, doesn't it? You know, the Premier League and and the fact that the, the lads have, have pulled together and, and shown the togetherness that that they have, and and uh, you know, it's it's proved really good leadership from from everyone involved, and um, like I say, it's shown the way for, for the world of sport. Yeah, just from your point of view, how, how impressive have you been that you've kind of galvanised yourselves as, as a group of captains. Yeah, yeah, really, really proud of that. Really pleased that you know we've been able to speak how we have and and uh, come together and and uh, and work towards something that's been really positive. Yeah, and a final point from me, I, I guess you know the secret to this season is just in trying to improve on on last season, whether that be points or whether that be uh, performances or even placings in the Premier League. Yeah, progression is is, is massive and, and key, and you know you can't stand still in the Premier League. You need to keep moving forward. Keep keep working hard to to improve on on what you have uh, in the previous season. You know, like you say, whether that be uh, performances, um, positions, because you know sometimes you, you can play well and not quite get the results. But you know, if you if you're playing well, you give yourself the best chance. And it's just all about um, you know trying to progress as a as a club and and you know as as a player myself and and all the other players will be wanting to improve on on their performances that that went last year. Cheers, Ben. Thanks very much. Good Thanks very much, Cheers. Come on.